Hi, Primary 2. Welcome to ART. Um, I am here at home recording your lesson because unfortunately we can't be together at school, but I hope you're going to do your best listening and thinking and best creating. So let's get started. Today we are going to be continuing our art lesson on line and shape. And we're going to be talking about how something feels. So when we talk about how something feels, we are talking about the texture. So we are learning to create texture in art. So the way something feels, you can actually touch it and that is the texture. But in art, when we draw something or we paint a piece of artwork, we are creating visual texture. That means it may not actually feel the way it looks, but we wanna use lines and shapes to make the person who's looking at our artwork think that they could touch it and it would feel a certain way. By the end of our class, I want you to know what visual texture is. I want you to be able to use lines and shapes to create texture in your own artwork. So we're gonna be tracing the shape of your hand and then I want you to be able to add a different pattern of texture to each finger. So what might that look like? Well, let's think about the different textures there are. How might this feel if you were to touch it? That's a cactus in a pot. How would it feel if you were to touch it? So let's look at the shapes. You can see pointy ends, the triangular shape, if you were to touch it with your finger, how might it feel? If anyone thought prickly or pointy or sharp, you are right. That looks like it would hurt. How about this cat? If you were to touch this cat, how might it feel? What kind of texture does the cat have? Have a think. Would it feel sharp and pointy like the cactus? Is it the same or is it different? It might feel fuzzy could feel hairy, would it feel soft? Maybe you can think of some objects around your house that would feel similar. Maybe some of you actually have animals and a cat running around. What about a teddy bear? How might this feel if you were to touch it? What is the texture like? Is it exactly the same as a cat? Would it, would it be a little different? Could it be soft? You could also think about the temperature. Would it feel warm and cuddly? Would it feel cold? What if that teddy bear was left outside and it rained? Could the texture look wet? Would there be water droplets on it? We're gonna listen to a quick little song and hopefully you'll remember what texture is. So as you see there, we can see actual textures that you could touch and objects you can pick up. But when you are going to be drawing your own and trying to show the visual texture, we have to use repetition and use multiple lines and shapes. So most of you will or all of you will have gotten these two worksheets in your take home package. And I want you to look at the objects that are drawn below. And I want you to create the visual texture or the implied texture by repeating your lines and shapes. So having a look at the first one, something soft and smooth might not have too many lines or details on it. It might just flow and use just a line that's very simple. But something that is rough might have lots of, lots of dots on it. So you can add some of those textures onto each picture. So here we've got dots to make it a bit more rough. It's not just smooth and plain. Anything that is hairy, you'll repeat your lines and they kind of have thick lines, thin lines, longer lines, um, and they come together to create a hairy texture. Let's use a thin line on here. And you can color it in first if you like and then add those details on top. So I want you to practice repeating it. So we're gonna try and add a little bit more detail to each object. 
spiky. So again, like we talked about, those shapes are pointy. It looks a bit more like a triangle. You can have them sticking out in different directions. The closer together they are, the more texture you have. And it really looked like if you were to touch that cactus, it might hurt. So there's spikes on. So I want you to take your time and practice repeating the lines and shapes over and over until you add the texture. We have two worksheets on this. So we have this one and then we have another one. So you've got soft and smooth, rough, hairy, sharp or spiky, bumpy or lumpy, scaly, and then we have foamy, wet, wooden, woven, bricks, stones, cracked, and feathery. These are just some examples of how you can draw patterns and shapes onto objects to show texture, to make it look like if you were to touch it, you could feel um, the material. Once you've done this activity, I want you to then try to create your own texture artwork. So what you'll have to do is get a white piece of paper or any card paper and trace around the shape of your hand. If you place the pencil close enough to your fingers, you can trace all the way around. Then I want you to choose a texture for each finger. This one could be prickly, maybe hairy, soft and fluffy, bumpy, and maybe something hard like a brick. And I want you to try and decorate your hand adding each different texture. Remember to repeat the lines and shapes over and over until you are satisfied. You really want it to look like those fingers are made out of the texture you're choosing. Here are a couple examples to so repeat the shapes over and over to create a pattern. Sometimes you can uh, add details that will come away from the hand or the fingers. So over here you can see it looks a little bit bumpy. If I were to drive one of my toy cars over it, it, I would be shaking and bumping over and up and down each one of those hills. So you can try and add those shapes on there. I think I have one more to show you. Nope, that's the last one. So again, we're adding texture to the texture worksheet, repeat the lines and shapes over and over, and then you get to create your own texture artwork. If you'd like, you can draw another picture after and try and add texture to it and see if one of your family members can guess which texture you've chosen or how it feels. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to do your best, have fun, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.